next guest is, uh, I saw him headlining at the place he's going to be headlining uh, on June the 30th at the Comedy Works, which is one of the best comedy clubs in, in the country, in Denver. Please welcome Hippie Man, everybody. Hippie Man. <laughs> Thanks a lot. You know, I am feeling really good tonight because I took some pills I found on the bus on the way down here. It's part of my health care plan. Find a pill, take it, and see what the hell that does. You know, so I like the way I feel, but there are side effects to my hair. So anyway, I wanted to talk a little bit tonight about President Obama. You know, he has been bailing out everybody. I'm like, where in the hell is my economic stimulus plan? You know, because... I have been spending irresponsibly for years, man. <laughs> I don't need 700 billion either, 35 grand, and I am back down to square one. You know? <laughs> Make it 40 and I'll get my weird eye fixed, because I, I do. I have a crazy ass eye that goes this way, and this eye is straight, you know? And I'm not saying this eye is gay, but <laughs> this eye is straight. This eye wants to marry some other guy's eye. I'm like, you cannot do that here. The voter said no, so it's no go. But, uh, <laughs> but you know, times are tough economically. They really are. And I've been a stand-up comic for many years, and uh, I finally have a day job. I have a paper route. Uh, <laughs> once a week, I deliver zigzags to all of my friends. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'll tell you. Oh, thank you. I'll tell you, after a couple stops on that route, you don't care if the papers are hitting the porch anymore. And <laughs> with this eye, I can't tell anyway, you know. <laughs> but you know what this is? This is a medicinal marijuana state, and I guess that's good, but I don't see what the big deal is about medicinal marijuana, you know? I have been using the generic equivalent for years. <laughs> I like a way better than ibuprofen, I can tell you that. But... And if marijuana is considered a medicine, then I think alcohol should be too, because I cannot tell you how many times I've cleansed my colon with cheap beer and whiskey, but a lot. You know? <laughs> and it was religious too, because I prayed a lot that night. I was like, yeah. <laughs> you know, I read in the newspaper where another sixth grade teacher seduced a student. I'm thinking, where were those teachers when I was in school? <laughs> My sixth grade teacher was this fat 70-year-old woman named Mrs. Fraker, and uh, I banged her anyway, but... Uh, <laughs> I got a C- minus that semester. I'm like, what do you have to do to get an A in this class? <laughs> Once I found out, I'm like, hey, I'll take the C-, minus. thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Thank you. That's how I became a vegetarian, but uh, it's a different joke. I, <laughs> I am a vegetarian. I am a vegetarian. I'm lacto ovo, which makes it sound like I want to be spanked by a large German woman. <laughs> and I do, but that's not what it means. So. If there's any large German women here, I've been very bad, I'll tell you that. I'm going to need some strudel and a firm paddling, but... Uh, but, you know, even though I am a vegetarian, I believe in animal testing, although I do it at home. <laughs> I'll tell you, my cat does not know a damn thing about the Civil War. <laughs> I'm like, blue or gray, Tabby, come on. And I do. I travel all over the country, you know, uh, doing stand-up comedy, and it's a good life. And I drive a lot late at night, and I get pulled over by cops all the time, man, because they see me, and they're like, hey... Let's follow Einstein and see what the hell he's up to, you know? <laughs> and I, yeah, believe me, people call me Einstein all the time, but, uh, but I don't drink and drive, and I have to go through those sobriety checkpoints, you know, so uh, they always let me go, and then what I do is circle around the block and go through again. You know, I'm like, hey, I think I can beat my best time. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that pisses them off, but they let you go because they're busy, and... Uh, <laughs> Then I borrow someone else's car and go through again. <laughs> like, weren't you here before? And I go, no, that was me of a stepbrother, and he was wasted, and he fooled you guys. And that's when they'll haul your ass in, I'll tell you. Well, finally tonight, I wanted to mention that I am from Boulder, Colorado, which is a really good place to be if you're a hippie like me, and it's a very progressive uh, city, you know? And my ex-wife still lives in Boulder, and um, she is so eco-friendly that her vibrator is a hybrid. <laughs> and... <laughs> It runs on bitterness and ethanol. So, thank you very much, you guys. Take care.
Thank you.